hi, what is the value of a? Given that you have 8 to the power of a multiplied by 8 to the power of a multiplied by 8 to the power of a equals 24. And let's have it to be solution. Recall that when we have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of p or b, we can have this as a to the power of m plus n plus b. And the reason behind this is that they have the same base. We take one base, we have the power together. So we have it here as this 8 to the power of a plus a plus a to be equals 24. So from here we have 8 to the power of a plus a is 2a plus a will give us 3a then equals 24. Let's introduce log to both sides. We have log 8 to the power of 3a equals log 24. Then recall that when we have log p to the power of m, this power m, we come down to base as m multiplied by log p. So from here, we apply this power law. We have here to be 3a multiplied by log 8 equals log 24. So let's divide 2 by log 8 from here. Then this, we cancel this. So we have here to be 3a left, then equals log 24 divided by log 8. So we have 3a equals log, we can have the 8, sorry, 24 as the product of 8 times 3. Then divided by this back, log 8. Then let us recall that when we have log a times b, all in parentheses as this, this multiplication will change to addition as we have here to be log a, this a plus log b. You can see from here, multiplication change to addition. So let's apply it here. So definitely we are going to have 3a equals log 8 plus log 3 divided by log 8. So let's distribute this particular 8 for this and this. So we are going to have 3a equals log 8 divided by log 8. plus log 3 divided by log 8. So from here we have 3a equals this, we divide by this, we have 1 plus log 3 divided by log 8. But let us note that when we have log a, divided by log b equals as when we have log of a in base of b, as we have this division chain to this. So let us apply it here. So we are going to have 3a to be equals 1 plus log our a equals 3. So we have it here to be 3. Then our b equals a. So here we have it to be x. And so therefore, we can divide 2 by 3. So this will take away this. So this will cancel this. We have a 1 plus log 3 in base 8 divided by 3. So this is the value of a. Now, let us check. Recall that we have 8 to the power of a multiplied by 8 to the power of a multiplied by 8 to the power of a equals 24. 
So from here we have here to be 8. We can add this together. So we have here to be a plus a plus a to be equals 24. Definitely here will be 8 to the power of 3a, which equals 24. Then let's substitute the value of a that we got here. So here will be 8 to the power of 3 outside. a is 1 plus log 3 in base 8 divided by 3 as this. Then is it going to give us 24? So obviously, this numerator, we cancel this denominator. So we are going to have 8 to the power of 1 plus log 3 in base 8, then it's going to give us 24. So from here, we call that when we have a to the power of m plus n equals a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So when we apply it here, we are going to have our a to be equals 8, our m to be equals 1, our n to be equals log of 3 in base 8. So simply we can have here to be 8 to the power of 1 multiplied by 8 to the power of log 3 in base 8. The question now is, is it going to give us 24? Obviously, 8 to the power of 1 will give us 8 multiplied by 8 to the power of log 3 in base 8. So from here, let us recall that when we have a to the power of log b in base a, so far this base equivalent to this base, so the output always be equals b. Now, let's apply it here. This base equivalent to this base, the output will be equals 3. So therefore, we have here to be 8 times 3, which equals 24. And by the way, 8 times 3 gives us 24, equals 24. Now, since the left-hand side equivalent to this right-hand side, this implies that A equals this, satisfy the given problem. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more mass tutorial videos. Bye-bye.